sometimes it feels like life is trying to slap you <clears throat> right in the nuts. No matter what you do, it feels like if you kick back, it keeps kicking. Yeah, that's true. You know, you keep watching the news, you keep watching the TV, and it feels like no matter how hard you kick back, it keeps kicking. It feels like life is trying to crush you, to eradicate you. Newsflash, it is. It's literally trying to hit you in them little nuts over and over again. Life doesn't care. Doesn't care that it's hard for you. It doesn't. It has no reason to. Life's job is to make you worm food. It's not the world's job to make it easy for you. Looking at people tearing cities up, tearing streets up, tearing up towns, tearing up our cities, and I have people commenting with excuse after excuse after excuse. Somebody commented today that tearing up businesses is okay because businesses take and take. I got a news flash. Businesses, nature, rabid dogs, wolves, life, it's the way it works. We are all worm food. Challenge, wake up tomorrow and decide what can I do to bring the highest outcome to every interaction I have? Be it with my spouse, my kid, my coworker, my neighbor, the cop that pulls me over. What if you approached every interaction, even if it was with somebody you disagree with? What if you said, how can I bring this interaction, this connection, this touch with another living thing, another person, what can I do to bring it to the highest fruition of what's capable? That doesn't mean being full of shit. It doesn't mean telling people what they wanna hear because you have to protect yourself too. But what if we stripped away some of the selfishness and we thought about, I wonder what that guy or gal's viewpoint is. I wonder what they're going through. They're fighting. Maybe they lost somebody. Maybe they lost a lot. Maybe all this COVID shit has kicked them in the nuts, right? Maybe it hasn't. So you also can't live giving in to everybody else's excuses either. You have to love yourself enough to push past. Had a rough family day today, got the monkey suit on, came home, gonna push myself a little bit, even in the monkey outfit. And I could tell you some cool tactical nonsense about training in my, my fitted suit that it's gonna make me better fit to fight. Sure, yeah it is. I could tell you that being in my, my floor shimes on the slack line somehow makes me more capable, maybe. I could also tell you that just sitting here and telling you that I don't have all the answers and that the one thing I do know is that fighting with all of my fellow Americans on the internet about whether it's right or wrong to tear cities up is stupid. I can tell you this unequivocally, my opinion. If you're tearing up property, be it government property, or private property, you're an idiot. Because public property is my property, it's my neighbor's property, we the people pay for it. Every freaking bit of it. It is much harder for you to get what you want, throwing a temper tantrum in the streets, than it is for you to actually do it the right way. If you care enough about your community, if you want a new police chief, if you want a new sheriff, if you want a new mayor, a new governor, Use the system that we the people created and put somebody into office, actually run a campaign. You know what? That's work. Children go throw things in the street. Children light things on fire. Criminals do that. Adults that actually want to proliferate and protect our way of life and understand the nature of things do the hard work. 
It's not hard to go run around like a punk behind a mask. I'm saying it. If you don't like it, leave your little snide comments. I'll delete them. I'll gloss over them. But to those of you that wish to do something of value, wake up tomorrow and say, what can I do to bring about the highest probability of success for me, my family, my community? Every interaction. How can I leave this interaction the best way possible? Not just for me, but for both or all parties involved. Be well. Don't be dickheads. Do understand that it is the duty of this world to kick you in them every single day. Every single day until it puts you in the ground. But it's your duty to push back. And you can do it from the right side and you can do it from the wrong. Yep. I don't know what the hell that was. I'm being a douche. Peace.